One is that anytime somebody hears somebody embrace Christian nationalism, they've been so kind of poisoned by hearing that term that they yeah. think that's terrible. That equals racism and Nazism and all right. these other things. And that's just because they've listened to the caricature version. They haven't actually heard the real one. Mm -hmm. um, and when someone says, I'm a Christian nationalist and it's okay because it's Christian, well, that doesn't make any sense because there are people who have actually advocated in racist ways uh, in mm -hmm. ways that are inappropriate. Um, so th it's just the, the naming and what the you know what we what we kind of claim by it is, is is really problematic. And the other reason I think it's an important distinguish uh, the important thing to distinguish between the soft and the hard, or at least it's helpful, is because there's nothing that Rusty uh, advocated for in our form. And and uh, Hunter acknowledged this, by the way, uh, other than maybe claiming the name, which is kind of pragmatically problematic right now. And I, again, I, I don't think it's a theological category that gets mandated on people. So, you know, you're basically naming a position afterwards. But uh, there's nothing he advocated for that would have been controversial yesterday. You, you, you know what I mean? And so that's, that's what's so bothersome whenever somebody gets up and goes, you know, in this kind of breathless alarm, particularly people on the evangelical left, uh, that it's absolutely scandalous that someone would dare kind of say you should be involved politically, but no one's yeah. scandalized by Drag Queen Story Hour. Right. Or even they dismiss it as not being a real problem. Or the attack on Jack Phillips not being a real problem.